Hi there, everyone. Your Pyral here with some more Rakuen. Last episode, we started the search for Winston's wife's wedding band. Her name is Gemma, and our search took us to a different part of Morizora's forest. And now we are here in what appears to be a sewer. There's these boxes here. And that was the only one I could move. But I guess, I guess we could just jump down. Oh, what is, what is this countdown timer? Oh, I'm so confused. This is uh, quite the way to, oh. Does it involve this thing? It does. So, I'm guessing that maybe... Door's locked. Uh, maybe if we didn't get to that lever in time... Then maybe the current would have swept us away? I don't know, that's probably what happened. But there's a gate key here. Or maybe we... <laughs> Ooh, this would have been a little bit dark, but maybe we would have like... Drowned. I don't know, but you could reactivate it, which is... Um, creepy. I would not want to like drown down here. That's like something I would very much not want to do. Anyways, back here. And we're playing as Gemma again. I was so worried about you. Aww. I've been waiting all spring to share this with you. Come this way. They shouldn't be able to see us from here. Huh. Have you ever heard of the Hikaribana? No, I haven't. Hikaribana is the name of the Konko tribe's most important festival. It's named after a very special flower that grows every spring. Look down by the riverbank. Do you see those big flowers? Ah. And they're glowing. Every year, the Konko Luna flies lay their eggs inside those flowers. Come spring, the eggs hatch and the Luna flies feed off of the nectar inside. But until they learn how to fly, the Luna flies are weak and vulnerable. So it's the Luna flies that make the flowers glow? Yes, but the really special part is about to begin. The Luna flies and the Hikari Bana are actually very good friends, you know. What do you mean? In return for food and shelter, the Luna flies help the Hikari Bana before they fly away. As they practice learning how to fly, they literally lift the flower up with them. You're lying. No, no, it's really true. As the flower floats through the air, the luna flies fluttering, fluttering wings help spread the flower's pollen across the land. Oh, well, that's cool. That's neat. That, that would actually be really cool to see in real life. Just like big glowing flowers just floating in the sky like that. That would be really, really cool. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Winston. I'm so glad you could finally see it. Hey, is there someone over there? Uh-oh, they heard us. Quick, follow me. Yeah, so it looks like we're going through, like, Gemma's memories. It seems. Uh. Let's see. March 12th, 8 p.m. Police has confirmed 1,480 people missing across the affected areas. It's weird that the final death count- Ooh, this is dark. Could rise sharply once a full picture of the catastrophe emerges. Two days later, March 14th. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. And the day after, March 15th. 
It only took a few minutes for the 30-foot wave to wash the town away with terrifying force. That's very ominous. Let's see, it's a letter. Hi, Mom and Dad. How are you? I'm really enjoying studying abroad here in Japan. The people here are nice. I'm getting good grades. I sure miss the Korean food, though. Did you know that at Korean restaurants here, they make you buy the appetizers? Even the kimchi. Isn't that weird? Oh, and I met a girl. I really like her a lot. I'm sure you will, too. Anyways, I'd better get going. Take care. Love you both. Winston. So, before, I originally assumed that the uh, letter... Because I think there was, like, a few before. I assumed they were for Gemma, but... Or from Gemma, but no, they're from Winston. And I don't think filling the sink up with water does anything. But you know what? Let's do that. Just in case. You never know. Uh, sure. Water the plant. Still thirsty, so... I guess it's just... Water these as much as I can. Which means there's probably more for me to water. Because I think there's... Oh wait, now I need to... I filled the sink up, but I need to fill the bucket now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there might be a few more for me to do. To get well balloons. And then back into, I guess, Morizora's forest. So I guess this is more of Gemma's memories. Hmm. Winston, your mother and I have noticed that well. We've been spending a lot of time with that Ilbo girl, Gemma. Yes, I really enjoy spending time with her. I feel like we have a bond. I've never felt that before. Well, we're happy that you found a good friend. But Winston, she is a friend, am I right? What do you mean? Winston, we're open-minded labels. We know that trading with the Ilbo tribe has many benefits. I bought some very nice artwork from an Ilbo woman. Oh, they're these kind of parents. Why are you telling me this? Winston, you're young. There are a lot of things in this world that you don't understand. I'm old enough to know that I love her. Have you lost your mind? No. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Do you even remember what the Ilbo did to us? To our people? What they, uh, what they show you and how they are inside are completely different. You may think you can trust them, but you can't. Dear, he needs to hear it. It's for his own good. No. What did you say? Gemma's not like that. That's not how she is. You leave me no choice. We're no longer allowed to see Gemma. Not as friends, not as anything. Oof, those kind of parents. Probably won't let me go through. Yeah. That... sucks. And I'm wondering if this is a reflection of... This world here, the human world, where Winston and Gemma have had to go through, maybe they've had similar circumstances? They hate me. Did he really come for me? I'm so alone. I'm so afraid. Whoa! Patient log Gemma will have to be transferred as we cannot provide necessary treatment for her at this facility. Ah. Uh. Oh. Whoa! Did that just like... So that's one of the envoys. So is this just the thing where... Oh, I think that was a tutorial one meant to show that I can't like... Touch them, right? Okay, so... Best case scenario is to just... Go this way... Just like that. Oh! 
Um. Okay then. Let's try this again. Okay, so the darker ones can move faster, it seems like. Gosh, I don't I don't like this. Can't go there. All hospital staff urgent. To open the store, you must turn on both of the doors light bulbs. Okay then, there are two light bulbs near the door. The right light bulb is red, the left is green. Right is red, left is green. RR. Railroad. Uh, can't go this way. Hmm. I don't see the faster. There it is. Okay, so now I just wait for this one to go. Just so I have safe passage. <laughs> Uh, weather journal lays by itself on the locker shelf. March 20th. Our small generators are pumping water out of the basement at a rate of about a centimeter an hour. We can compensate for some of our losses by improvising. Unfortunately, we've still lost 11 patients this week to the harsh con- mm. That's, uh, unsettling. Oh, there's more of these. Okay. As long as they don't, like, chase me... I think I'm fine. Probably. It looks like they move at about the same speed I do. Yeah, this is the the counter is how long I could stay underwater. Okay. That makes sense. Uh no, it's not. Did I open a door? Oh, it lowered the spikes. Okay, now I'm curious though. What's, what's past the lever? Probably something good, right? Uh, I might be pushing my luck here, but you know what, it's fine. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. At least I know that there is nothing of note up there unless I could somehow drain the water. Okay, which one? I'll go this way. Uh, this one. Nope, I'm not going to climb up just yet. Auxiliary room, right. You know what, let's climb up. Let's try it. There might be something up here. There's stuff. There's a light. And a faded letter. I don't care what they say, I know in my heart that this is right. When I've saved up enough, I will return to the place we first met and we can start a new life together away from all of this. Yeah, it sounds like human Winston. Oh, there's crisis management pamphlets and empty first aid kits. Yeah, it sounds like human Winston has had um, similar experiences to Liebel Winston, which is very unfortunate for him. And now this is the left auxiliary room. Okay, journal first. March 19th, how long will it be before help arrives? We wrap them in blankets. We work 24 hour shifts. And unless we receive help, I don't think we can hold out much longer. Okay, so that's both lights. Did that do anything? I don't like that it spawned me right next to the envoy. But maybe that helped? I don't exactly know. Who did it? Uh. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. S 
So, what, what did the sign say? Okay, there are two light bulbs in a door. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe go down here. That doesn't really help my case. So what now? I guess I'll try going back in here and see if there's anything that I missed because I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's try going down here again. Because that light is on. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe a minute. Maybe I turn this one off. Or, wait, wait, wait. I might be having this wrong. So maybe... Okay, green. And then... Let's try climbing up here. Okay, both are green. There we go. That did something. Or... I don't know. Let me uh, go back upstairs and check if that did anything. Okay, because I, I want to uh, take a look at the note just to make sure nothing scares me. Both of the door's light bulbs. The right light bulb is red and the left... Left is green, right is red, right? So I need to turn... I need to go back downstairs and turn the the right room red. I even like said the whole mnemonic device thing in my head too. Okay. Perfect. And now I go in here. Nice little puzzle based on like memorizing things. There we go. There we go. That light is on. And now I can proceed probably safely. Yes, perfect. Okay, go, 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 go. This, this envoy just freaks me out. Can't push that. There is this thing. Turn on the water pump to start draining water. Ah, that's how I drain the water downstairs. I'm learning. I am learning a lot here. I'm solving the puzzle. That's what I'm doing. Okay, good, good, good. So the water is drained, which means I can go this way for realsies. Probably not through here, right? Yeah. And... I can go this way. But I want to know how to open that gate. There's probably a key in here or something. Yep. Okay, Pokemon. Help me out. No. Refresh the room. No. Okay, give me a second to take a look. Oh, it's literally super easy. 
How did it take me three tries for that? I don't know. But I can go up here. Into that open door now. Okay then. And the envoys are still here. Whenever I say the word envoy, I just think of Yu-Gi-Oh! Cause, you know, there's like, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. And... Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. And there's probably like, like some other Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of... Evening Twilight, I wanna say? I don't know. I've always wanted to build a Black Luster Soldier deck, but I've never gotten around to it. Oh, we're on the other side here. I see. Uh, where am I? There's writing on the- No! Oh, hello. We're gonna have to move them. They won't make it through the night. Take the back exit and check the staff bulletin boards for access codes. If the water doesn't reach the second floor, we should be okay. We'll hang on out. We'll hang on as long as we can. Go on before it's too- I think it's cut off. Uh won't okay it's backwards let me let me put my face up to the monitor and have a closer look okay so it says won't survive the night and i hit my glasses on my pop filter okay then one four eight zero March. What does it? Uh. Nope. Oh, this is gonna send me back, isn't it? Well, there we go. Four eighty. Like the resolution. Okay. That's how I know. Okay. Gotta try this again. Yeah, come at me. I got it this time. Come on. Faster four. What? Oh, it's backwards, it's backwards, it's backwards. No? What is it then? Uh, eight, four, one? I, I am very confused. I'm gonna try eight, four, one now. Eight, four, nope. Maybe it's one, eight, four. It's something. Uh, wow, two, eight, nine, okay. Egg on my face for not checking that. 289, 289, 289. So what's the writing on the wall then? That has to be relevant to something. Uh, 289. Heh <laughs> heh, can't get me. Maybe. Gosh, if they like phase through the wall, I would not like that. Ha! <laughs> ha! Jerks. Uh, 371. Hello. You're just walking towards me ominous ominously. 371. Ha <laughs> ha! Jerks. That was a noise. That's also a noise. What is going on? Uh, 
Oh, we're back here. Or is I don't think this is Lebo Village. Never mind. Winston of the Conco. Gemma of the Ilbo. Even though your families disapprove of your union, the heart of the forest has heard your pleas. Because your feelings for one another are pure and true. Morizora has allowed me to perform the ceremony of the envoy. That today in the forest, you may be wed. Aww. Cute. I'm so happy right now. I want nothing more in the world than to be here with you. That that could be like... That, that just reminds me of the lyrics of this song called Bug Spray. But I always think of that particular artist. So, <laughs> yeah. Parting today will be the most difficult thing I've ever... Wait, what? But I promise you, Gemma, once we've walked through all of the seasons once more, I will meet you on the River Isle and we will start our lives together somewhere new. Oh, so they have to be apart for a little bit? Hurry, Gemma. You must go now before your family finds us. I love you. And I you. Be safe, Gemma. 